Hey YouTube, Starry on Dark World Mofo's channel, it's Absence of Light here, coming to you today with my Dark World Explosion FTK build. Before I get into the video, I want to thank Dark World Mofo for letting me put this up. If you haven't already, make sure to please like, comment, subscribe to Mofo, he's an amazing guy with amazing videos. And if you want, you gotta head over to my channel too. I've made it for those who aren't aware, and I've done a video of, it, of this deck on it, and if it gets popular, I'll be sure to upload plenty of more. Anyways. First off, I'm going to go to a quick deck profile, then I'm going to explain how it works. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We have 2 Beige, 3 Bro, 3 Grafos, 2 Olympic Star Dragons, and 3 Snows. These monsters are very important as you have to draw your entire deck in turn 1. 2 Beige is because if Beige get balanced and deep prison, you most likely lose. So 2 is really good. And uh, 2 Stardust because... Three can get cloggy and one not enough. And since, and really all the other monster stuff is explanatory, so I'm not gonna go over them. So yeah, now I'm going for the spells. We have three advanced draw, one lower darkness, one card destruction, three dark hole dealings, three drag down to the graves, three into the voids, one monster reborn, three the gates of dark world, three upstart goblins, and three tradings. For those who are unaware of me, you know, uh, most of you all know that I like advanced draw on my Dark World builds, and this one is especially true as you need to draw your entire deck on turn one. And three is because you don't really need a monster during the end phase, unlike the other build, you need a like, two, three graph left, maybe a starters on field, maybe front pin, I don't know. But with three, with this build, you don't need any monster on the field, you just need your FTK combo. So three is perfect for this build. I would answer stuff explanatory into the void is because while it speeds it up, I'll run into the void anyways. But for the combo to work, you need no cards in your hand. And trading is really the same explanation as advanced draw because you need to draw your deck as soon as possible. And yeah, trading is a bit more consistent during the beginning of the game. Advanced draw is really more for any of the game. So yeah, now on to the traps. We have life equalizer, magical explosion, and wall of revealing light. Well, that's really the deck profile. I'm going to explain it later, but for those who just really want to watch the deck profile, thank you guys for watching. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those who need a little help on how it works, or just want to see my take on it, I'm going to go to a, a brief explanation. So, we draw our deck, so we have about three cards in the deck. I'm not making up a random number. We have all three of our trap cards. I end my turn starting all the cards in my hand, a hefty amount of spells. The opponent's confused. Why didn't he push for an OTK? Something must not be right. Well, your opponent's right to think that. During draw phase, you activate Wall of Revealing Light. You pay 7,000 life points as a cost and as your opponent for a response. Your opponent wants to try to outdo the OTK, so you activate his mystical space siphon, targeting a random face down card, one a trap card, a say, life equalizer. So, you chain a trap card right next to it, magical explosion. It delivers 200 points of damage for every spell in the grave. Since you have three cards in your deck, let's say we have 18 spells. So you deliver 3,600 points of damage. Finally, you have to do the card targeting a mystical space siphon, life equalizer. With life equalizer, if the difference in life points is more than 8,000, both players' life points become 3,000. Since you have to do the goblin earlier in the duel, then your opponent has 9,000 life points. Since also you play wall of healing light, paying 7,000, you have 1,000 life points. With that, the difference in life points is exactly 8,000, so both players' life points become 3,000. In a resolving chain, life equalizer resolves first, making both players' life points 3,000, and then magical explosion delivers 3,600 points of damage, finishing the game. Alright, so the point of doing that little story is to explain two things. One, how the FTK works, without having to try to say it, I'd rather show it. And two, to emphasize the fact that the combo cannot be stopped. Even chain MST to any cause, including the wall of reading light, would not stop it, as he pays 7,000 life points, and then opponent gets a chance to chain mystical space something to wall. And if they target any other face down cards, you can do the same exact thing I did in the story. So yeah, that's the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe to Melvo if you haven't already. Head over to my channel, rate some of my videos, comment, subscribe over there. I make dark world videos as well as play with other decks on there, so just check it out. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks to Dark Road Muffo. Absence of Light Out.